going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday. A little update to yesterday's hobby news. Well, one piece of it we had, as you can see on the screen on the left-hand side, the Justin Verlander uh, tops insert through the years was given an authentic auto grade onto it. A uh, lot of talk about this, as it should. Um, still, you know, you got tops made this set out there. Maybe they should have put something really bigger on the back that said reprint. I don't know. But, you know, it, it starts bringing into expertise and stuff. And we'll cover that here in a minute. But I want to do a little due diligence last night on to this. And I did find this here, finally, the PSA DNA certification lined up. Showing, you know, there was no hunky funky fedori stuff going on with Photoshop or anything like that out there. I know a couple of people said they actually uh, reached out to the seller, no response back. I mean, maybe he's ashamed. I have no idea of the whole thing, or he just got bombarded, mixed emotions type deal out there. You know, he may have bought this off of somebody, thought it was a great deal. Who knows? But everything lines up here, you know. Uh, so many mixed thoughts onto this. So as I was digging more yesterday, I wondered, PSA the only one out there that, you know, possibly did this blunder? Lo and behold, another grading company actually certified, graded the auto, whatever you want to call it, across the board. Before I flip it up, anybody, get your guesses ready. All right, let me find it here. Boom. Oop, there it is. Beckett. Back at 8510 on the Jeter there. Really surprised that, you know, I was asked and I actually received this. I didn't think it was possible, but then, you know, I should think back to my old drill sergeant days where nothing should shock me out there anymore. So another company, you know, that we had one time deemed as the number one out there, and PSA number two. Now, you know, different ways that people rank them out there. But two of the bigger grading companies making a blunder out there. And I still have the video coming out later this week, but we start talking about expertise in the hobby. What makes, you know, somebody an expert on this? We put all this trust, money into these companies, and stuff like this happens. You know, it starts drawing, you know, rampant to the imagination. You know, what else could be going on out there? I mean... I know I got trim cards, fake autos, all that other stuff that's passed through it. But, you know, some of the discussion I've had uh, probably in the past three or four days basically starts dealing with, you know, how do we certify somebody to be an expert into this here? There's many great stories out there. Some of the famous people we deem to have certified uh Autographs out there, we claim them to be experts, and lo and behold, they were wrong. The Lindenberg Auto, I don't know how many people know that story there. But, you know, it's just really interesting when you start digging into this stuff, and, you know, we put trust into people still in our wax boxes and wax packs saying it's authentic, it's good to go. You know, maybe 90% of the stuff's good, 95 I don't know what the math will be out there. I'm sure if you ask, you know, Somebody, one of the companies, they'll give you 99.9%, .9%, which I think is still way too high. But just a lot of stuff slipping through. And this here, just be on the lookout when you guys are buying this stuff and looking for this stuff. I know some people think it may end up turning into like one of those weird errors out there and drive up crazy price for having it graded. I have no idea. I've seen weirder things draw. Um... Values of cards up over time. Uh, considering some of the stuff was basketball, just because they had a picture of somebody in the background, stuff like that, just driving up prices. But now we got two at fault here that have done this out there. Really, really shocked that we now hit this level onto it. What are your guys' thoughts on to this? Do you think we're going to see more companies that's going to start coming out that they graded these cards somewhere along the way? I don't know. I'm, I'm sure more and more will come up here eventually. I'll be interested to see everybody's comments on to this here. Figure I'd share this now that we have a 
uh, second grading company that has basically graded the auto and saying it's, I guess, authentic as well, too, because of it being on there and the way that they go on their website and read. But interested to see what everybody else thinks out there on this. Quick video today, guys. Uh, tomorrow, the gridiron um, contest will go on for the video. And then I got one I want to hit with you guys. Talk about expertise in the hobby. Just to see what everybody thinks. A little bit longer for that video, so be on the lookout for it. If it doesn't reach out Thursday, it will be Friday for sure. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good one. See you all next video.